Moving cells are orientated by extracellular signaling molecules, which cause the activation of the ARP23 complex, which in turn causes proflin to assemble an actin ATP at the leading edge. This pushes the membrane forward. Currently, there are three main methods of explaining how polymerization of actin pushes the membrane forward. They are the elastic Brownian ratchet model, the tethered elastic Brownian model, and the autocatalytic model. In the elastic Brownian model, when the actin filaments which grow at 70 degrees make contact with the membrane, the actin filaments bend, which provides an elastic force. The tethered model is very similar, but involves the attachment of actin directly to the membrane. The autocatalytic model is completely different and has to use varying concentrations of actin ATP to explain why the membrane moves forward. The newly formed filopodia then attaches to the substratum at a specific point. It is not currently known how exactly the cell adheres to the substratum and is a hot research topic. The adhesion helps the cell anchor onto the substratum for further movement. And once the cell has moved past this point, it is not known how the focal adhesions associate. The last part of the process of cell crawling is the moving of the cell body in the direction of the lamellopodia. This is done by the myosin contracting the actin filaments at the front end of the cell. This moves the cell body forward so that the cell goes in that direction. This uh, similar thing happens at the rear end where the, the myosin contracting moves the rear end forward towards the front end.